So the red knot is a shorebird that breeds in the Arctic and it winters uh, south of the Arctic. Some shorebirds only go a short distance, like the purple sandpiper, but the red knot goes all the way down to the other side of the globe in Terra del Fuego. Red knot is a poster child for all shorebird species. Um, it's the one we've studied the most, but we think what's happening with red knots here on Delaware Bay, it's a critical place where they need to gain weight to be able to reproduce successfully. And because we've lost horseshoe crab eggs, it's declined. This is a story for all the shorebirds that come here, not just red knot. The problem for red knots on Delaware Bay has been the loss of horseshoe crabs. Um, in the mid-1990s, uh, an overharvest of horseshoe crabs for use as bait has caused the population to really decline. Um, the loss of all those horseshoe crabs means the loss of their eggs. Horseshoe crabs lay 80,000 eggs per female during the year, and lots of horseshoe crabs coming ashore to spawn make sure there's enough eggs coming up to the surface through all that digging and spawning action for shorebirds to use. We've come out this morning to uh, capture uh, red knots with our cannon net. Our primary goal for capturing birds is to determine the condition of knots, ruddy turnstones, and sanderlings uh, while they're here in the bay. The, their ability to gain weight uh, over the the uh, stopover period is the primary importance of Delaware Bay. South, we got a, a, a small nucleus in front of the net right now, thin, thinly scattered at the uh, net line. We have birds thicker in the front of the net. They're uh, just now starting to enter the eight yard mark. Waves are pushing birds up a little higher. Do we have a, a turnstone in danger there? Three, two, one, fire. The speed at which the red knots have been declining, have declined, surprised us all. We, uh, our team in Terra del Fuego, watched it happening. We saw once abundant fall to, to uh, much smaller populations, at 80% decrease in 10 years. Uh, if something isn't done soon, then uh, all the other problems facing the birds, tropical storms and everything else, uh, will gradually eat away at what's left. And so uh, gradually the bird will become extinct. My hope is that the public really gets behind horseshoe crabs and gives them some love because they really do need public support. Um, we need to really reduce the harvest so that the crabs can come back to population levels that are big enough that support shorebirds, harvesting for bait, and lysate production, which is critical to human health. So it's a very important species and really underappreciated.